Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? The DFS Shark. We are back with another day of some NBA hoops. It is now March 19th, and we got about five games on the slate today. So not the biggest slate, um, but as always, guys, y'all watch these videos. Y'all like these breakdowns. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see these breakdowns as soon as they drop. And if you want the free plays even sooner, join the Discord. The link for that will be in the description. And also, prize picks, if you're not on here at the moment, they're running a special on Caitlin Clark for the March Madness tourney. You can see they got, they're giving you a free win, basically. Caitlin Clark to go for at least one point here. So take advantage of this. And if you're not on prize picks, drop in this code right here on sign up. And they're going to hook you up with 100% match deposit bonus. And then you get some free extra money on top of that. And you can use that to put in that Caitlin Clark play. And if you're looking to expand and looking to add some more books, um, chalkboard is the spot to be for that they have the ability to adjust lines they have ultimate lines they have a bunch of lines that prize picks and underdog in these sites won't even put up because the, the odds are much higher to hit so same with there man if you drop in that code shark they're going to match you with 100 percent match deposit bonus and i'm also making nightly chalkboard videos um last night i did not get a chance to put a video out there which is why you didn't see one but tonight i will have a chalkboard video for everyone um, if you want to tune in there now if you slide to the discord if you go over here to free plays this is where i posted the play that i'm about to go over and i post all of my plays in here um so join the discord that's going to be the spot and i want to go over yesterday's play so nothing other to say man this capella and Acora just couldn't get it done right they both had really slow starts like the first quarter neither of them did anything which hurt us because they ended up sort of getting it going the second half they they, they were pretty steady the second half on getting points and rebounds but ultimately we fell short um so it is what it is man you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some so always have multiple books multiple slips per day but just have good bankroll management usually like half a percent to one percent is what i play if i'm playing bigger five or six man lines i'm usually throwing like 0.25 percent of a bankroll but that was yesterday's play man let's dive into the optimizer today and see what it's cooking up for us let's hit that refresh right so if you're looking for some really good optimized plays, um, one is going to be Cam Thomas, points and rebounds under 25.5. And you can see here that PrizePix actually has this overpriced. Every other book has this at 24.5. They like him going under this line. And then on top of that, you're getting a whole point of value here on Cam Thomas. So this is a very solid line, a 53.88% chance to hit here. And then if you want a second play to pair this up with, you got Luka Doncic. We got Luka here under 10 and a half assists. You can see Pinnacle has this at a minus 142. Pinnacle is known as the sharpest sports book. DraftKings is very solid also when it comes to player prop lines. BetMGM. So every single one of these books has this over minus 130. So they're all favored in Luka to go under this line here. Um, so this is a solid two-man slip here. Um, and this, if you're not familiar with Daily Grind, it's basically just a site that pulls all the props from from prize picks gives you the best ones that are positive ev plus which essentially means that you're getting good value from these books these books either prize picks has this price has this line price too high too low or they're priced the same as these books but maybe these books just have really high odds for that line to go over and under and you can see just within a second where these lines are um and i suggest you know if you're someone who likes to put in your own lineups you're on the run you're never you're working you don't have time to sit down and do the research because it does take a lot of time. DGF is a good spot. You literally just hit that refresh button and you got all the freshest hot lines. Um, and I suggest you track these lines too. You know, wake up, wake up in the morning, screenshot this, take a picture of these five and track them. You don't even have to play them, just track them and kind of see how it's doing. And then you can start picking up on tendencies and you can start building a system or strategy from there, right? So there's all different kinds of ways you can do it. They also have every sports book you can think of up here. Um, but this is DGF Daily Grind. If you want to try them out, drop the code in SHARK at checkout for 25% off your first month. And they are going to hook you up there. But let me dive into today's plays. Let's see. Hopefully the lines are still here. I'm not sure if they will be or not. I've already posted this in the Discord. And you can see this is the first one here. This line's already been bumped, completely removed. Um, the line I had was Brandon Miller over three and a half rebounds. So if you're on Sleeper, this is a good one to put in if you're on Chalkboard good one to put in but the line i had was three and a half rebounds um the next one that closest i see is points and rebounds but i probably wouldn't take that one you could you could go the demon here you can go more than two and a half rebounds right i was able to get three and a half at regular pay odds um so 
you can kind of just see here some of his numbers but if we dive into the game here so we got hornets and magic now there's definitely blowout potential here there's definitely blowout potential with the hornets here so this is one of those lines you know if you don't really play blowouts if you tend to stay away from them, this is one you don't want to put in um just the heads up but i really like the way brandon miller has been performing lately has been playing especially with these rebounds all right you can see over his last five he's hit this at 60 percent of the time his last 10 70 percent and he's not just getting you know four rebounds you can see all these games He's getting seven, 10, five, six, seven, five. So I like to see players who are just crushing the line, not just barely hitting the line, but outperforming their line. So, you know, he had games here of seven, six. So even if he has plays half as good here, he's still right at the halfway mark on that line, right? Last 20, 75%. So he's shown he can consistently hit this line. And the thing with Orlando is they are a strong rebounding team. One of the best teams in the league defensively, right? But he has played them twice this year or this season, and he's gone over this line both times at five rebounds, right? And as far as the game, they lost by about uh, seven. They lost by about 17 points here, and they lost by about what is that, 12, 13 points here. So they did get blown out both games, but he still played 32 plus minutes, 32 and 37 minutes here. He's averaged five rebounds against them. And let's just look over his last 20 here. He's been averaging 4.9 rebounds a game. So he's been averaging a whole line, a whole more than a line over what his line is set at. So we're getting really good odds here on this one. I knew if we go to the odds makers here, we got BetMGM minus 135, Caesars minus 137, DraftKings minus 140, FanDuel minus 142, and uh, Caesars minus 165. And they have them twice, but you can see every bookmaker, no one's less than minus 135. So everyone's heavy favorite in this line to go over. We slide over here to injuries here. And this is a big reason why Brandon Miller is playing a lot of minutes lately. LaMelo Ball is out, obviously. Seth Curry out. Cody Martin out. But Brandon Miller is my first player. I'm going to be locking this in. Let's go to Rotowire, see what they have him at. They have him at 4.8 rebounds. So they have him a whole point above this line as well. They have him pretty much what he's been averaging his last 10 to 15. So... We got this one locked in on Brandon Miller here. The next play we're going to be rolling with is going to be Trey Jones. Rebounds and assist. I got over 10 and a half. The line has now bumped up to 11. Um, so just a word of caution, every time I play Trey Jones, for some reason, he just decides to not do nothing. Like the games I play him, luckily I'm not on the points tonight, but the games I play him, he doesn't even score. Like he'll go a whole game without scoring. For his first time in 20 games or something you know so trey jones he i'm liking him on this rebounds and assist line though so if we go to the game here not a lot of games to choose from right so you got to kind of pick where you want to be on this i'm choosing to go with this one it is the highest total of the day the spurs and maverick spurs are at home on a plus eight and a half um wimby's just playing insane lately so i'm hoping he can do enough to keep them in the game i'm hoping everybody else can contribute Hit their shots and make this a close competitive game. All right, Trey Jones, the lineup got is 10 and a half here. And you can see over his last five, he's gone over this 80% of the time. Um, and he's been, you can see the lines right here. He has been crushing this line. Multiple games of 15 plus, a game of 12 here. His last 10, he's gone over this 70% of the time. You can see a 17 game, a 16, a 15. Last 20, 60%. So another play that's consistently hit this line. And he's about 50% against the Mavericks when it comes to this line here. His last couple, he wasn't able to get it in. But if we look at his minutes here, he only played 17 and 20 minutes in those last two games against them. Lately, he's been playing 30 plus minutes a game here. So you can see here, probably averaging around 31 minutes a game. And then if you go over to Dallas defense, they are not a very strong defense at all. Rebounds allowed, they're 26 in the league. Assist allowed, they're 22nd in the league. They're going to give up a lot of points. They're going to give up a lot of rebounds as well. So we're going to take advantage of that. Against point guards, they are 22nd. Then against assist allowed, they're about 14th in the league. But Trey Jones, solid plus matchup here. High scoring game. There should be a lot of points scored. He should be able to snag up a lot of rebounds and assist. If we go to injuries here, Luka is a game time decision. Josh Green's out. So another solid play here. Trey Jones should be able to hit this line for us. So let's slide over to the projections. So Rotowire has him at about 11.3 
on the rebounds and assists and go back to the line that's over by almost a whole point on the line so we're getting really strong good value here and those are my top two plays man if you want to bundle this up with some other plays here these are three plays that are on my radar i'm not playing at the moment i may end up putting them in later it just kind of depends on what the slip's looking like but jabari smith on the under on his rebounds the line was set at nine and a half it has gone down to nine so it's up to you if you want to put this in but jabari smith on the under um since singoon's been out you would think he's been he would be rebounding better um, but he's been at that center position a lot of times so he's on the bigger man so he's been getting out rebounded lately um, and you can see here, he just hasn't been playing well when it comes to rebound. He hasn't been hitting this line consistently. So that's a play I'm liking on the under there. Another play I'm liking is Franz Wagner under three and a half assists. Um, and this line looks like it is completely gone. Right, This line is completely gone. Uh, maybe you could play the over two and a half assists if you want a uh, goblin. But under three and a half assists was the line I liked on Franz Wagner. If you can get that on sleeper, chalkboard, wherever you play at. And then the last one I liked was Luca. Over three and a half three pointers made. I think Luca is going to be on fire tonight. I think he's going to be shooting a lot of three pointers. And man, Price Picks is absolutely on it today. They are just taking these lines off so quick. Um, I put all these in in the Discord as well. But yeah, this one's not here. And all of you know, they have the the uh, Goblin, which I feel like for sure Luca should hit this Goblin line. But if you want to throw that in there, obviously you're not going to get as big of a payout on this one if you threw that do that Goblin in. But it's up to you. Like I said, if you're on sleeper chalkboard, throw these lines in there. These are solid lines to put in. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If y'all like these kind of videos, these kind of breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Also, join the Discord to get early access to these plays when I drop them. And drop in this promo code here so you can take advantage of that Caitlin Clark discount. Get that free bonus line, get set up. And then also, I'm starting to drop chalkboard nightly videos as well. Last night, like I said, I didn't get the chance to do it. Um, but I will have a video tonight with a solid two-man slip for y'all to throw into your lineups. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care.